Biological safety cabinets are laboratory workstations that provide cleanliness and containment for work with biological agents and hazards. In this video, we will examine factors to be considered by new owners of a biological safety cabinet in setting the heights of the cabinet work surface, chair, and footrest. There are fixed height electric and caster stands for BSCs. Most common is height adjustable at installation. Worldwide, the average adult height is 167 centimeters. Dave here is about 172 centimeters. The work surface is set at 76 centimeters above the floor. His forearm is parallel to the ground and resting on the armrest. His elbow is angled 90 to 120 degrees. His feet are flat on the ground. His chair is at 57 centimeters. His thighs are close to horizontal with the knee angled at 90 degrees or more. That's great, but what if there's someone in the lab who's taller than average? A height of just over 184 centimeters is at the 95th percentile, meaning that 95% of the heights considered for the ISO 7250-3 standard were less than this height. Aaron here is 180 centimeters. In order to provide for Aaron, we have set the cabinet work surface at 81 centimeters above the floor. His chair height is set at 60 centimeters, and he does not need a footrest. Dave can also sit at the cabinet set for Aaron. We simply raise the chair height to 62 centimeters and add a footrest set at 8 centimeters. With that addressed, we are finished. Thank you for viewing this presentation. One of the things we love about science is how it is possible to account for every possible situation. And another thing we love about science is our world becomes more inclusive. Michelle is about 152 centimeters tall, which is about the fifth percentile for height in ISO 7250-3. This is perhaps an extreme situation with individuals at both ends of the height range working in the same cabinet. With the cabinet set for Aaron, we will need to raise the footrest to 16.5 centimeters. Remember, the anchor point is our forearm resting on the armrest and parallel to the ground. If we have the cabinet at the standard 76 centimeter work height, Michelle lowers the chair and the footrest is lowered to 11.4 centimeters. Nice work, everyone. Thank you for viewing this presentation. Oh. For many laboratories, a saddle stool promotes good posture and makes it easier to work inside the biosafety cabinet. For Dave, with the cabinet set at the standard height, there are no other changes. The saddle stool is set at 57 centimeters and no footrest is needed. Remember, we adjust to achieve the forearms parallel to the ground and our elbow angled 90 to 120 degrees. It's the same for Aaron at the raised cabinet with no other changes. The saddle stool is set at 60 centimeters and he does not need the footrest. For Dave at the raised cabinet, the saddle stool is at 62 centimeters and the footrest as before. To use the raised cabinet, Michelle makes the same adjustments to the saddle stool and footrest as before. Here, Michelle has adjusted for the standard height cabinet with a lowered saddle stool and footrest. Remember, start with your forearm, position the seat for a horizontal forearm and elbow angled between 90 and 120 degrees. Add a footrest as necessary. Body types vary, so adjustments may be necessary even between users of the same height. Thank you very much for viewing this presentation. We hope it has been helpful.